Flows are how Ava OS does automation. This video arms you with the knowledge you need for tapping into their full potential. Behind this flow for Roku is a package of logic that is more than just a mere macro. By opening Settings and going to Flows, you can see that the guest room has three flows. Two are hidden, one is showing, the Roku flow. A tap on the Roku flow reveals its menu. These are the main parts of a flow. Every flow has a name and icon. And since I really like Roku, I'll swap the current video icon for the Roku icon. That's not necessary for customers who don't know what a Roku is. Slides are the user interfaces that show up on the remote's touch screen when a flow is active, giving you secondary controls to supplement the primary controls on the dynamic keypad. Slides are a whole subtopic of their own, so watch for videos on slides to get the complete picture. For right now, you just need to know that slides are one part of a flow. The launch and power off are the parts of the flow that work like macros. Looking at the launch, you can see each of the steps that Ava OS takes to activate this flow. Power on the TV, Roku, and AVR. Then, wait for the devices to power up so that they can accept other commands. Then switch inputs as needed. Then, set which device controls volume. And finally, show the user interface slides for Roku on the touchscreen. These steps were all generated automatically during setup. They typically don't require changes. But let's consider one that could make sense. The length of the wait step here comes in a little longer for certain devices. Once you know that your devices reliably turn on faster, you can tune it to a shorter interval. But 5 seconds on my system is pretty quick, so I'll leave it there. The power off is also automatically generated. It has the steps you would expect for turning off my Roku Flow. Again, both the launch and power off can be modified, but you rarely need to. AVOS does a lot of work for you. But Duplicate lends us a ready example for where we might want to modify a flow, especially for a Roku. Roku allows direct commands for starting a streaming app like Netflix. So as an example, if I duplicate the Roku flow, you can see the duplicate added to the room's flows. I'll rename it to Netflix and pick the Netflix icon. It looks better now, but the launch still needs a step for going beyond Roku and opening Netflix. So I add a step for sending a command to the Roku, and the command is to open Netflix. And just to keep the logic in good order, I'll sort to move the Netflix step to happen before showing the slides for Roku on the touchscreen. Now I have a flow icon that gets me straight to Netflix. Duplicating a flow is also really handy when you want to test changes to a working flow without breaking the original. There's more to learn about flows, but now you have the basics. A name and icon, slides that provide the touchscreen interface, launch and power off, and the ability to duplicate a flow. Now that you're familiar with the parts of a flow in Ava OS, pick one of these videos to learn more.